What's up guys, it's CJ from SmartKTat.com. So last night I showed you guys the Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich keyboard port for 2.2 Froyo and 2.3 Gingerbread smartphones. Although that early release worked well in terms of typing, word suggestions, and corrections, it was still missing some key features. Well, there's good news. It's already been updated and now voice input works without issues. It's also now available in the Android market, making it easier for everyone to install and keep track of updates. There is a donation version as well, if you want to thank the developer for his efforts. As usual, I'll post a link with more info in the description below. So let's take another look at the Ice Cream Sandwich multi-touch keyboard running on a gingerbread-powered Galaxy S2. Okay, so like in the previous video, let's first go over the various layouts. Here you have your numbers and symbols. Of course, you can long press on certain keys to get more options. I like the blue theme. I also like the much larger spacebar. Very useful. Let's go back to the main QWERTY layout, backspace, and give it a typing test. Ice cream sandwich. Alright, so this is a test of the keyboard from Ice Cream Sandwich. As you can see, it works very well. Uh, the suggestion and correcting features definitely have been improved since uh, Gingerbread, so you'll definitely want to check it out if you're a fan of those features. Another thing I want to show you is suggestions, so I'll type in test. You can see we get our uh, three suggestions up at the top here, and you can see the middle button has three little indicator dots. If you tap and hold, you'll get a longer list of suggestions. So a nice way to uh, hide them until you want to access them. Let's back out of there. Now let's go into the settings menu. Alright, so let's check out our input languages. Lots of languages, you can see some of them have dictionaries available. Go back and our various options. Auto capitalization, vibrate on key press, sound on key press, pop up on key press, show settings key, voice input key. Right now I have it on the main keyboard. Let's go ahead and put it on the secondary keyboard. You can also disable it. Auto correction. I have it on aggressive. You can disable it, put it to modest or very aggressive as well. Show correction. Uh, always show, show on portrait mode, always hide. And then you have advanced settings. So you can change the key pop-up dismiss delay, and some other suggestion and correction features. If you look down here, we have vibration duration settings. Now I want to point this out because some devices, when you first install the keyboard, uh, the vibration feedback doesn't seem to be working. And that's because you have to come into this advanced settings menu and then adjust the duration setting, and then it'll work just fine. Let's go back. pull up the keyboard again. You can see the voice input button has been moved. Uh, now there's a comma there for easy access to that. If you want to access the voice input button, you can find it on the symbols menu. Also, let's go ahead and switch the landscape view so we can see what this looks like. As you can see, it works. Um, just as well. And last but not least, let's check out the voice input feature. Using my voice to type is awesome. Alright, so it says using my voice to type is awesome. So that works as advertised. So this was a look at the updated Ice Cream Sandwich keyboard port with working voice input as you just saw. If you enjoyed the video, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.